Hello everybody, New Manchester here, back with another video, and before I start this video, um, got, got some notifications in the notification, in the notification bell up on my channel, and it was some notifies from um, Doc G's um, channel. Doc G07. Um, I saw the I saw the two videos that he put out. I think one of them was titled um, "My Wife, Your Wife Want Your Wife, Your Wife Wants My BBC." Um, that means um, some guy's wife wants his big black cock. Don't know what that's all about, so I'll probably have to go and check that out. Uh. Anyway, um, on to this video. Um, yeah, before I start, um, I want to give a shout out. To some friends, um, my Steve, um, Alpha, wherever his name is, um, Prince Aaron, Captain Brandon, film, film, ho film, horror lover, and Brian Debs and Damien. Um, had a conversation with um, Prince Aaron. And Prince Aaron seems seems like a cool guy. I mean, we were talking about um, Democrats and Republicans, and you know, and politicians, and and who are, who are not doing anything for the country, and all you know. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, couldn't get a word in. I mean. Prince Aaron was talking more and I was talking less. I mean, I didn't know what to say. So, um, <laughs> yeah, he's an okay guy. He kind of reminds me of a friend I used to have. Um, okay, on to the video. Um, let's see, um. Yeah, um, my mother um, has just bought a brand new car. Um, she bought this car at a car dealership in, Arlen in Arlington, Arlington, Texas. It's a brand new Mercedes. And um, my mother spoke to me like a child and told me to come out there and see her new car. Come out and see this car. See how it looks. Do you like it? Do you like it? I just looked at it and I just I just walked away. And she said, do you like it? He doesn't like it. And well, that's what she said to my um, sister, saying that I didn't like it because I didn't, I didn't respond. Well, it's the fact that I just don't care. I mean, and you know, in the past, my mother treats me like a child, you know. I mean, she wants me to be this drooling, stupid old, stupid oaf. Just nod and agree with everything she says. And, and she talks a lot. And she doesn't give me a chance to say anything. They want to talk about stuff out of the box. She doesn't want to hear it. She just over talks me. You know, she's completely ignorant. And she's just out of touch with what's going on. And I didn't care for a brand new car at all. I really don't like you know you know I, I say like some of these 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 Texas people are just are just full of shit especially the old ones who brag about their cars and you know the old ones are like in the old ones and I don't know um the wild and crazy grandmother with the bright red Ford Mustang 
or some shit. Oh no. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I'm walking. Yeah, I'm walking on on the side of this highway. Um. You know, this is good for me. I mean, I can just go for walks. You know, it's just great exercise. But you know. You know, I try to stay on the side of the road because, you know, the drivers here are just completely nuts. You know, the drivers are crazy. And um, a guy with Down syndrome who was riding a bicycle got hit by some got, got hit by someone in a white van, which is very tragic. I mean, he died after he, he was taken to the hospital and was interviewed by the cops. Yeah, they were asking him, um, who hit him, who hit, who hit you? And he said, um, he said a white van, and that's all he that's all he said. And after that, he died. Um, some memorial plaque or stick is stuck on on this road. They was hit on somewhere around here, and I heard about this on the radio one morning before I went to work. Yeah, yeah. I used to work at a, I used to work at a, I used to have a job, I used to work at TJ Maxx. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and um. So yeah, um. <clears throat> Um, let's see, um, uh, yeah, anyway, um, I couldn't walk, I couldn't walk on this highway, oh, hold on a second, let me get as far away from this highway as possible, okay, it's more like it, anyway, um, that's what I'm gonna say, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, I remember last year, last year I used to walk from my house to the city which I um, live near, it's called Liberty City. And I walked from there to my house to, to, to that city and I went to a park there and I came, you know, I came right back here. And um, my mom and dad was worried about me, they showed up. Well, my dad showed up in, in some in some rent a car, you know. I don't know what, what my parents are doing. They don't tell me nothing. I'm just in the dark on everything. My dad sh pops out of nowhere when, when I turn onto this road that led led into a neighborhood. And my dad said, where you been? Get in the car. So I immediately got in the car. And when I got in the car, he got angry and shouted, where have you been? So I just went, went for a walk. And he just chewed me out. Then why then why then we drove me back to my house and I, I just walked to my room and my mother went and just ate me up about it, like not telling her where I was at. I was just basically being treated like a child. I mean, just because of what I was born with. It's just ridiculous. I mean It just it just it just it just tells me that um my mom and my dad and my sister don't understand me. They think because the way I was born, they gotta, they they, they think that I, I need to be treated like a child, being left in, being left in the dark on everything. And it's funny. They worry about me if I'm nowhere to be seen, but if I'm around, they'll ignore me. They don't pay me any attention. And what? Yeah. And when I try to talk to them, they just they just don't pay me any attention. So you know, it's just a joke. So, yeah. Thinking about possible um, places for me to move. I mean, yeah, I have a choice. I can move to another state or move overseas. I mean, the choice is mine. So yeah, um, 
Yeah, these psycho drivers were slowing down. See what I'm doing. I mean, they're thinking that I'm nuts. I mean, they can go f down, screw them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um <clears throat> Yeah, this is yeah, this is where my neighbor lives. Um well I got a neighbor who lives across the street from me. I got a neighbor that lives behind me and this is the gate to, to his place. I mean they're just two houses that he owns. Um he owns a company just up the road from here um, this highway right here this is um Texas State Highway 135 um, yeah um, it's a it's a north and it's a north south highway it's not very busy I mean long time ago this road was a two-lane road and now it's it was being it was had some road construction done on it and it's been expanded to like you spent to a four lane highway so yeah um, okay um there's some possible places for me to move to get to get away from this mess that I'm in because why I mean it's just just a mess and like nothing makes any sense and it's everything is weird and nothing makes any sense okay um, possible places for me to move um let's see I can move to other states I can move to Colorado um, let's see Let's see, Nevada, um, South Dakota, uh, Pennsylvania, which um, Prince Aaron wants me to wants me to um, move to. Or I can move overseas let's see to these two countries that I like I mean I can move to the UK or France so yeah um, uh, speaking of France there is a um, there's a there's a piece of France off, there's a piece of France off the coast of um, Newfoundland in Canada it's called St. Pierre and Miquelon it's an overseas collectivity of France. And you know, it has a small town, St. Pierre. It has a small town of St. Pierre on it, which is the capital, you know. It's a small town, you know. I mean, the customs, the language, everything, everything resembles what's in France. Cause it's part of France, you know. Has a lot of, you know. I can enjoy um French food, French wine, um the French culture, mixed in with the basket culture, you know, Acadian culture. You know, I'm not into drinking wine, but you know, <laughs> I'm not a wine drinker, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's some lot. So that's some choices for me. The only way for me to make this happen and to get to these choices. Is to get a job. You know, um. Getting a job here is just just damn near impossible. You 
you know, um, going back to going back to that conversation me and Prince Aaron had. I'm not gonna tell you where we where we were talking at, but but um, he was telling me about um mass shooters. I think he said mass shoot. He said, he said people who shoot and kill people in mass sh in mass shootings. I think he said are pieces of shit. But yeah, I mean, if I if I if I let if I let the um stuff here where I live and st stuff here here in the U.S. get to me, the people, the society. And I go if I lose it and get a gun and go in a mass shooting. Yeah, just go around, shoot, shoot, kill people, turn the gun on myself and shoot and kill myself, or get shot and killed by police. Yeah, and I think he's gonna view me as a as a piece of shit, but I'm not gonna do that, period. Okay. Cause I realized that Pete, I realized society in the states are just far gone, and you know, and people and people up there in Canada are far gone as well. You know, you know, I used to get mad and lose it in the past, but after discovering Winston Wu, I found out that um. The problem isn't me. The problem is, is is the people in this society and how society is. So, so that's my so that's so that's the problem. So the problem is isn't with the so, so the problem isn't me. It's the problem is them. So yeah, um, you know, ever since I graduated from high school, ever since I, I mean, ever since I graduated from high school, my dad just threw me on disability and hasn't done nothing with me. You know, hasn't taught me financial stuff or nothing. And here I am. I don't have a clue about anything. Nothing. I'm just totally dumb. You know, being treated this way by my father is just is just unacceptable. You know, and what I said in the previous video, the problem isn't with me. You know, the way my father's treating me from graduating from high after graduating from high school to now, it's just it's just unacceptable. I mean. It's, it's weird. It's it's just weird and it makes no sense. You know. I mean it's, it's like being punished. I like it's like I'm being punished for being born this way. I mean and my friend Brandon said that my father is insane. And I agree, he is insane. I mean a man treating his son the treating his son this way the way I've been treated like that is insane it's just it's it's just it's pure insanity and <laughs> I saw a gang of therapists you know I think people like my dad need to see a gang of therapists. You know, having a, you know, having the real problems being ignored, having your real problems being ignored, and you know, taking taking pills from a therapist, and just you know, just getting all drowsy and falling asleep and. 
these pills are supposed to make me feel good, make me make me act normal. Like I am acting normal. And there's nothing wrong with me. And there's something wrong with the people in this society. There's something wrong with my family. There's something wrong with them. There's nothing wrong with me. So, it's all ass backwards. <laughs> you know. You know, and guys like guys like Doc G, aka Doc Garcia, don't have to worry about going through the shit that I'm going through at all. You know, Doc G is into um, talking about talking about um, some guy's wife won his won his BBC his big black cock. You talking about banging women and jumping out of planes and going overseas? Like, I mean, he's into that, and here. I'm in here. I'm in prison and going through a lot of weird crap. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Doc G is lucky. He is lucky that he doesn't have to. He's lucky that he's not in my shoes. But you know. Is it too late for me to find a woman? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So, yeah. So, I think that's all I got to say in this video. Um, was walking by and some... Two police cars were going by. Um, those two police cars, those those are um, sheriff deputies from the um, Gregg County um, Sheriff's Department. They are the laziest, I mean the laziest cops around here. They don't do nothing. Like, people were getting their cars stolen. People were, people's houses were being broken into and these guys don't do nothing and it's funny like one of them smarted off to me and they run around and act like they're all business like they act like they're doing their job and they don't do nothing how you gonna have this all business mentality and you let thieves get away I mean it's funny like they, I mean, they won't care if your car gets stolen. They won't bother looking for the car thief that stole your car. But if, if Betsy Sue is floating around in a river, or, a river or a lake around here, these guys got their cowboy hats on, and they go around and find her. They go around and they run around finding her body. The hunt for Betsy Sue. Where's her body at? Oh, if Joe Blow got to get his car stolen, they don't care. They really, really don't care. You know, more, yeah, you know, and Prince Aaron brought up the fact that all these police officers are fat. And a lot of them are fat, like, fat, fat. I mean, I know the women cops are, are fat, some of them. And the male cops, like the old ones, are fat. Like, these guys got big, big pop bellies. And they look like, they look like they're pregnant. <laughs> like, these fat, out-of-shape cops. You know, I heard that, you know, in other countries, if you want to be a police officer, you got to be in shape. You gotta work out, eat right, you gotta be in shape to be a cop. Here, you can be unhealthy, you can be fat, you can be a cop, but but or for you to be a cop here, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're fat and out of shape. 
and you eat a lot of junk, I mean, you got to have a college education and get college credit in order, for, or for, in order to be a cop. What a joke. You know, you know, if I if I didn't have this learning disability, if I was a cop, I'll be exercise, I'll be exercising, I'll be staying in shape for the job, I'll be eating right, I'll be physically fit, I'll be in shape to chase down bad guys and go through danger. You know. It's, yeah, you know. <laughs> and Prince Aaron told me like most of these cops like to bully people around because they were bullies in high school yeah that's true there were bullies in high school and some of them were picked on and they become cops to take their rage out on people which is just which is disgusting And my father is a police officer, by the way. He was a police officer, but he retired, you know. And, you know, it's funny. He thinks he's so smart. <laughs> yeah. He's not that smart. I mean, he just, he, just some, he just some dumb country boy. Some dumb Texas, some dumb East Texas country boy. Who went to who went to some hole in the wall college, lots of hole in the wall colleges in his lifetime. Served in the military and went overseas in the military. So yeah, I mean, he's bitter and he has a negative outlook of the world, and you know, his bitter negative outlook of the world is just you know, it's not true, and he's out of touch. He's out of touch with what's going on, you know. And he is. So. <sighs> Hope I have enough memory on this on this um on this smartphone that I'm making this video on. Yeah. So I didn't want to like use this tablet, use that big tablet, that HP Slade 7 tablet that I used. To make videos to make videos for my channel so yeah so this is really good I like I like using this this camera phone this Samsung um, Galaxy 3 um, phone I mean it has an HD quality um, is it is HD quality picture I mean crystal clear I mean yeah it's really good. I mean, that's a church across the street. It's a white church. I mean, um, I don't know. I went to a white church one one time with my mom and my sister. Um, it was kind of dull. Yeah, you know, um, it's not like those black churches, you know, that get up and clap and scream and shout and sing songs you know <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't, you know white church we went to is pretty dead really but you know I, I don't understand like like why why white people and black people and other races go to separate churches like we just why, why do you just go to all all go to the same church? I mean, they all just go to one church. I mean, I mean, I went to a church with my mom and with my sister, and my mother, in Oceanside, California. It was a colored Methodist church. It was churches. It was a church that had people from all different races going there. You know, and I liked that, and I didn't have any problems with that. You know, I didn't care what race they were from, really could care less you know you know being separated by race is a joke 
because you know <laughs> it's a you know don't care for it at all um yeah um I think that's all yeah um, see what else I gotta say before I end this video so yeah um, gonna get ready to look for a job gonna get ready to do that and I am so hope I can f hope I can find work hope I do so that's all I gotta say in this video alright peace